Okay, I haven't made a video on my own in a long time. Normally my daughter does it. Uh, so this, we'll see how this goes. So this side here needs to go down like that. I've been trying to do this all morning, but it seems like every time I start, somebody will <laughs> they either walk in the door or the phone rings. So let's see how it goes. So we're just going to fill up the one side here. Um, if, if you want, you can hammer it. I use something like the end of a mandrel. Not too hard. Then you want to take something like this and scrape it off. And what you want is you want this to be flat so that when you turn it over and set that down, this is flat and it's not going to compress downward because um, there's nowhere for it to go. So I've also switched to cornstarch. Still shouldn't really breathe it in, but it's a lot better than uh, talc. Then this is kind of crazy. I don't know if it's going to work. In fact, I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just, it's like an experiment. So what I did is I took the hole of the ring and I tapped it with a tap machine. So it's got threads now. <laughs> I thread this bolt in here. And again, this is like complete experiment. So that's going to go just like, you know, I really should have got a shorter bolt. I don't know. We're going to, I don't know what I'm doing. We're just going to do it. So it's going to go like that. We're going to push this about halfway in. So this is the side that has the vents. And so the side with the vents, you want to make sure it's nice and down far into the clay there. We'll add a little more uh, cornstarch. Make sure there's nothing on these channels. We're going to put that in place there, just like that. We'll add a little more clay. The key here is to not add too much so that you can get it right down and really pack it around your item. Just like that. There we go. And now we can kind of hammer it down. Scrape it off, just like that. Now once I get to this point, I like to set it down flat and pull it apart. And look at that, you can, <laughs> you can actually see uh, the threads of the bolt. Okay, so, let's see, I guess we will Keep working on this side. If you take something and kind of tap it, it helps loosen it up. And then if you can get a hold of the sprue there. I don't know what's going to happen, hopefully pops out. Okay, it's not not too bad. Just kind of push that down. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to take my thumb, start the, the funnel here where the metal is going to flow in. And I'm going to kind of round this. I wish this was longer. I'd like a longer sprue, but the flask is too short. And with that bolt right there, kind of changes things. But I think it's still going to work. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this. 
unscrew the bolt and we're going to place it right in there just like that and that's actually going to stay in there through the whole cast so now we'll set that aside we'll take this one we'll do the same thing we'll make use our thumb just like that and i like to round this off so that there's nothing sharp that could break off when the molten metal rushes in Kind of clean this off right here and then let's see we need to create vents now sometimes i've done these where i just put two vents in but i don't i'm going to put them all in i just think it's a you have a greater chance of getting a good casting and i don't run it all the way to the piece the first time i do this And I push down, I pull back. Now this isn't gonna fill with metal. So really, we wanna be going into the, the ring impression. And once I do that, then I'll take the end of this and behind the camera is kind of hard. Uh, normally I would get down so I can really see well. You know, if you can't, if when you're way up here, it's hard to see if anything fell into the channel there or fell into the mold. See, what most people do is they have a tendency to pull through the, the clay. And what that does is it's just like driving a boat through the water. It produces a wake. <laughs> when you produce a wake, you add a whole bunch of clay up on the edge. And then when you put the two halves together, it pushes that back into your vent. And then they don't, then they have an obstruction. So anyways, we're at this point, we have the bolt in there. And so now when we put these two halves together with the bolt in there, you got a nice hole right there. And this, this video is already like eight minutes long, but we'll keep going. Hopefully it even loads, but so now I'm going to take, see if we can get that to fit down in there just like that. And let's see, let's see, we'll do it just like that. So now try and move the clay out of the way. I've got, um, just some sterling silver. And unfortunately, this is gonna take a while to get this to melt. Nothing worse than doing this stuff behind the camera.
really heat up the tent. That way you won't get a cold pour. Again, sorry that it took, took so long to heat. Kind of a hobby torch. They're kind of slow. All right. So let's see, we'll get a glove. Really, the sooner you open this, the less uh, clay on the surface that's gonna get burned. <laughs> okay, so we got a great casting, um, and the bolt's in there, and I forgot to turn the fan on. You can see we got a total cloud here. And uh, I think, I mean, I don't, I'm not going to have any choice. I, if I can get, it, maybe if I get a tweezer. I should have had it. Oh, I got one right here. I, I, I was just so curious if I probably can't hold this well enough, but I was curious if the bolt would come out of there. I know it sounds crazy. Uh, it's not going to right now, but maybe after it's, uh, of course, I can't pickle it. But once it cools, I don't know, who knows? We'll see what happens. But, anyways. Great casting, uh, the bolts in there, and uh, at least you got to see the process. So we'll end this. Thank you.